Hey guys, happy Thursday. How is everyone today? I hope you're having a great day. We are having a great day. It's been fun. It's chilly out. It feels like the holidays. If you look around my store today with all of the Christmas yarn hanging around, it kind of looks like an elf threw up everywhere. It's awesome. Hey guys, y'all are starting to roll in. Welcome. I hope Donna B's out there and we're having dinner together tonight. I got a whole bunch of my Donnas coming in. How are you folks? We got Deborah and Joanne, my Debbie in New Jersey, Betsy, Christina. Hey guys, Cindy. A couple of you flew by too fast, so I didn't catch y'all. If I don't give you a shout out, I just missed you. Um, and I don't know we see everybody. Facebook's kind of weird about that. But if you comment, I got gotcha. you. Um, welcome. How is everyone? Uh, what a great day. Uh, we're at it again. <laughs> hey, Cindy. Hey, Donna. I got a lot to talk to you guys about. And we'll start here and then we're going to move into the other room. Because my wonderful friend Martha gave me an idea for today's video. I love ideas, guys. Message me, email me, send me your patterns, send me your ideas, send me your thoughts. Hey, Diane, how are you? Hey, Cynthia. Uh, it's really fun. So we'll get over to Martha's idea. And oh my gosh, I love it. She's going to make me cast on. Hey, we got Amy. How are you? Yay. Joanne. <laughs> Joanne said we didn't lose her. She switched from phone to computer. Well, I, I'm, I'm glad I have a bigger screen. Uh, then it's not what I've been eating. It's just your screen. So there you go. Uh, we got a lot of fun stuff, guys. So, and we might have a visitor. So we may have to come back in a few minutes. I am open to six o'clock now. And this is the little bit of the gamble I take. Um, let me show you some of the fun stuff I've got today. See if I can leave you all stationary and I do the moving around. So let me show you some fun stuff. So I've got mom watching. Yay, mom's here. Kim, Nancy, how are you? Hang on, guys. I've got a guest. i got to go find my crazy Christmas mask. Bear with me one second. I'll let you know if we need to come back. How are you? I'm doing a live video. Welcome. She's just checking her pattern, and we'll be right back with you. So if you guys hold tight uh, while she's checking her pattern, I can show you some of the goodies that have cropped up. Uh, we have a new batch of Red Soul in sock yarn. Hey, Martha, you're the star of our show today. Your pattern's featured. We're going to get to that next. And this here is our Christmas mini, and it is under Twisty U. So if you put into the search engine either Twisty U or Minis, you'll see Twisty U, that's my mini skeins, and then you'll see Joy listed. And we've got Red Soul. We also have our new, thanks to, I think Leah suggested this. This is Sock Yarn, 80 Merino, 20 Nylon. And this is also in Joy. And I'm not sure if that's up on the website yet, but I promise you it will be. It's now dry and ready. Meg's watching. Yay! You can pair it with any of the greens. If you don't see the color listed on the website on Twisty U on the minis, put it in as a miscellaneous and then put in the notes and tell me uh, which color you want and we'll make it happen. If you want to pair with mohair, we have Naked, and we have, 
still on the drawing rack. Red. Lots of red minis, too. Those I know were on there. So let me check with my guest before her wonderful hat yarn. Hold tight. Don't go away, guys. I promise I'll be right back. And the sexy Christmas masks are coming in in a couple days. I'll have them for you. How can I help? And we're back. So, hello, Donna, you're there. I was just saying, are we eating dinner together again tonight? This is fantastic. Um, yeah, we have the wonderful ugly Christmas mask. Uh, these will be in uh, soon. I'm expecting them any day now. So that should be really awesome. Um, I do have a customer, so we will be taking this on and off here. Um, she's on the far other side of the store now, so we're very safe. And she's searching for hat yarn, which is wonderful, looking at the wolf oak far. So, excellent choice. Two thumbs up for wolf oak. Yay! Um, let's give you a little view of what we've got on this side, and then we'll move to the other side of the store. Here we go. So here we've got the red sole in DK and mohair. And then we've got our mini skeins and our big skein. And we still have not pushed the tosh away yet. And then we've got more sock yarn and mini skeins. Yes, that's plum. So if you like this one, this is plum and more mohair. Tis the season, right guys? And then I really have to show you this because I am wearing the Lavender U cowl and this is it, a kit for the red mohair and the white mohair. And then a bunch of chubsters in Christmas. Fantastic for a hat. One for a beanie too if you want it longer, bigger, slouchier or to flip it up. Um, that would be really great. Now, I've got my eye on this guys. And what am I going to do with it? I want to make a material girl sweater out of three skeins of the um, twisty U, not twisty U, sorry, three skeins of the lumpy bumpy and the white mohair. Um, would that be the most fabulous Christmas sweater ever? Hey, Sherry, how you doing? Glad you joined us. So think about that, Mom. If you can post up there for me the, um, the material girl sweater, that would be great. And for those who haven't seen all the fun that this cowl can do, this is Lavender U. It does that. Isn't that cool? It's so fun. I love this thing. I'm wearing it all day. It's fantastic. So, um, we're going to go over to the... <laughs> we're stepping on dog toys. And you got Hank's attention. Hank's out. <laughs> this is a hoot, guys. I'm so glad you guys can feel like you're here in the store with all of the usual craziness. Welcome. 
uh, we're going to go travel into the other stand on the other side of the room. So I'll give you guys a tour as we go. This is all the stuff that's still a little wet from last night. And we're gonna come in here. So today we are talking about the off the rails. Thank you, Martha. You gave me this great idea, guys. So keep sending me your ideas. I'm gonna flip you around and put you in my little stand here so I don't make you dizzy. There we go. And let's show you this pattern nice and proper. Martha, thank you so much for passing this on. Again, guys, I need inspiration. So if there's something that catches your attention, send it my way. Let's kit it up. Let's have fun. Let's have our little knit circle, crochet circle. So this is off the rails from a store called The Knitting Loft in Canada. Big shout out to local yarn stores everywhere. Anything that keeps them going. And this uses worsted weight yarn. This is a fantastic use of spin cycle. It's a little bit of easy beginner color work. And I did download the directions. It looks awesome. A little one stitch color work there. We'll do a little demonstration on two handed. Um, that would be really fun to do, wouldn't it? So, uh, and we're in our small room now when we still have Wi-Fi. So look at the improvements. We're growing up. Uh, this hat uses worsted weight yarn, two skeins, two different colors, high contrast. And we love Spin Cycle and we love Madeline Tosh. So we put them together and we love awesome pom-poms. So check it out. We've got Tosh Vintage Nassau Blue combined with Salty Dog and a big bright yellow pom-pom. Are you ready to check yeah, out? Whatever. Are you okay? Sorry? Whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Hang on guys, we'll be right back. Don't move. We've got so much cool stuff to tell you. And I'm going back to my customer. Keeping it safe. Be right back. Don't go away, guys. And I'm back. It's like the risky business slide, right? Hey guys, <laughs> that was fun. She was such a good sport. So now you have me all to yourselves and we're talking about the hat, off the rails hat. We've got Melancholia and Celadon, Tosh Vintage Celadon, and a teal palm. So I would do the main body of the hat in the vintage, the color work, which is beginner color work. Learn to do color work, everybody. Great lockdown skill. We'll do a video on that. I think that'll have to be next. I like this hat. This will be fun. And a palm. So really, you really want contrast. Let's talk about that for a minute. This is a really, really great discussion on what works and what doesn't when you're doing color work. So I pulled 
one of my favorites, Rusted Rainbow. And this happens to be a very rusty Rusted Rainbow. And if you pair it, your eye immediately says, let's pair it with this one, Glazed Pecan. And you think, that's going to be great. Actually, it's going to run to, it could run together because all of these little golds are going to get lost against this. To have more punch, you'd want to pair it with the orange. And then put a really, really hot gold black fin palm on that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's styling. So watch your colors. You really want, you're thinking your eye says, go together, look how pleasing this looks together. But in color work, that's gonna run and meld and mush and turn into mud. So you really want high contrast. So we have Rose, which I put with Ruination. And I did turn my video today, so it's backwards to me, but correct to you. And the Purple Palm. In the interest of keeping it snappy, we've got one of my favorite colors for gentlemen. Uh, this is Nocturne. If you just want a wonderful hat for a guy or a gal, but I paired it with this devilish grin, which definitely makes it pinky and the palm, which then is perfect. We paired up flycatcher blue with Robin's egg. So you want colors that will look good together. Oh, Martha likes that for Virginia Tech. Yes, that would be awesome. And then we put this light blue palm. This is called mint. So we have the mint pom-pom with Robin's egg and flycatcher blue. Just a couple more here. I won't bore you guys with all the combinations. But we have so much Tosh and so much Spin Cycle. I thought it would be good to pair them up a little bit. And I may take some pictures and shoot them up to my mom. She can put a collage together. Uh, this, I love this pom-pom. This pom-pom is called Burgundy Dyed Silver Fox. Little static electricity is great for showing off pom-poms. And I paired that with vintage Elizabeth Taylor and Nostalgia. So you can either do it with the burgundy palm, oops, get my fingers out of the way, or fuchsia. Look what happens with the fuchsia. Back to the fuchsia. Really fun. And one of my favorites, this is another one that can go with two palms. I feel like a cheerleader, right? No, I was never the cheerleader type, guys. Crazy, wacky artist type here, not a cheerleader type. Uh, embrace your inner cheerleader. Yay! Uh, Silver Fox. And new color, Lapis. And then we can go with the Royal pom-pom. Or I love this one. This is one of my favorite pom-poms on the planet. This is uh, baby blue and it's got the white tips. So that's a fabulous combination. And let's see, just two more here. Uh, we've got translation with heart sigh and a white palm, bleached white. And one of my favorites, one of my favorites, guys, we've got candle wick and cataclysm. And I don't know if you've heard, but cataclysm is now a discontinued color. They had trouble with the dye. 
So grab them while I got them. Candle Wick in Tosh and Cataclysm in Dream State. These are all worsted weight Dream State. Dyed in the wool is the sport. You want the Dream State. And look at that. Is that the perfect topper? Or that one is called Lime and this one is called Hunter Green. Both would be spectacular. Absolutely awesome. So thank you, Martha. You're amazing. I love it. It's great. So um, Martha, you want a lapis one? Do you want to see, let's see, I put it with Silver Fox. Is there anything else you'd like to see with it? Uh, lapis you could also put with Nocturne. And it still goes really well with the lighter pom-pom. Not sure about that one. That works too. But love lapis and I've got tons of it on the website. We have It was a new color so I bought a ton of it. Um, what else do we have with lapis? Again, you want to keep the contrast. Uh, this is Fathom. And that works, but again, you're going to lose your darker colors. When it hits here, it's not going to show. Whatever row this hits on is going to be super subtle, and you're really going to lose it. You're better off with a higher contrast. Or this one. That's great. And of course, don't forget the palm. I feel like with all these pom-poms, I've been living in a really old Star Trek movie, Trouble with Tribbles. Okay, we nerded out for a minute. Um, so, we've got the awesome Lavender U cowl, which can keep your ears warm on a cold day. I would love, love, love to work on a uh, material girl sweater it's on my list of things to do right now i've got a couple things in my knitting bag i'm trying to push through hey melissa thanks for joining us but material girl is awesome mom if you'll get that up there for me um and off the rails all of these great combinations let's tilt you down look at that this is what we've been playing with today guys I keep forgetting it's backwards. <laughs> Fun, huh? That's great. So, on that note, we wish everybody a great evening. Check out all the joy and Christmas yarn. If you put, um, yep, Martha, I'll take care of you. If you put joy into the little search bar on the website, it should pull up all the yarn we have in our Christmas color. And we just want to make sure everybody sees Hank ready to call it a night. It is nap time for all of us. Hanky, there you go. <laughs> uh, good night, everybody. Thank you so much. I love this. This is the highlight of my day. And we'll be back tomorrow. 11 to 6 here in the store, and we'll see who joins us for our video. That's the fun of stopping by late in the evening. Good night, everyone. Hugs and love.